Right then, morning folks and welcome back to another video. Today I'm bringing to you all the latest on the current League One season. Before we start then guys, just a little bit about myself. I'm a massive Coventry City fan. I've had a season ticket for the last eight or nine years since we were in the Championship, okay? I've had a season ticket while we were at Northampton and while we were at Birmingham, okay? I've seen the good, the bad, the highs, the lows. But let me tell you, this season, the 2019-20 season, is by far the best I've ever seen Coventry City play in my lifetime. Now, I have been to every single home game but one this season, and about half of the away games as well. And after all of that, I've only seen us lose one time this season, and that was Rotherham away, which uh, we'll forget about, okay? Every other game I've been to, we've either won or we've drawn. That is bonkers. Now, up until Christmas, we'd been steady. We were in the playoffs. We'd been pretty good, but in the playoffs through October, November, and December. But after Christmas, things went mental. We beat both Tranmere and Wickham away 4-1, with Matty Godden scoring back-to-back hat-tricks. And then, from there, we just didn't lose. We were on a 14-game unbeaten run until the season got suspended with about seven or eight weeks to go. We were top of the league, we were seven points clear of the playoffs, and we had a game in hand as well. Now look, no one expected this pandemic to happen, and when things first came to a halt, everyone was in the same boat that they just wanted the season to resume within a few weeks. But it was more than just a few weeks, it became a few months, and then it became apparent that clubs in League 1 and League 2 were hemorrhaging money, and now at a stage where if the season wasn't wrapped up soon, the clubs could go bust. The EFL stepped in and actually stopped some of these clubs from going bust by supplying them money. But now that it was established that the fans wouldn't be allowed in the stadiums for the foreseeable future, some clubs still couldn't afford to finish the season as they wouldn't be gaining any match day revenue. Now, the Premier League clubs are much more financially stable and rely much less on the match day revenue, so they are actually going to finish their season behind closed doors. The Championship might also be able to finish their season, but personally, I don't think League One can afford to. So, there was a vote last week on how to finish the season. With null and void not an option, the options were points per game or resume the season. Obviously, everyone has self-interest, and mine would be to see Coventry City promoted. And typically, there were six teams all placed around the playoffs that were unhappy with the points per game idea as it could deny them a promotion that they could have achieved within the last couple of weeks of the season. And because the EFL are so incapable and so weak-minded, they've pushed everything back to a new vote date on the 8th of June, which is pointless. However, if the EFL stick to their guns and promise to go with the majority vote, then I am 90% sure that the season will end via points per game. The fact of the matter is, out of the 23 teams in the league, it's highly unlikely that 12 teams will vote to resume the season. The only teams that will wish to resume the season are the teams with an outside chance of the playoffs and the teams in the relegation zone. And that only equates to about 6, 7 or 8 teams. Other than that, the top two teams, the majority of the mid-table teams and the teams just above the relegation zone will all vote to finish the season now. And with that, we will see Coventry City promoted to the Championship for the first time in eight years. So with that, fingers crossed, the 8th of June is P-Day, promotion day for Coventry City and Rotherham as well. And we will be celebrating in the streets, but socially distancing at the same time. Let me know down in the comments if you agree or disagree with anything that I've said. And make sure to like and subscribe if you want more Coventry content to follow. I will see you in the next video. Peace out.